guys, welcome back. We are on day 18 of the On It workout series and it wouldn't be a complete workout series if we didn't have a toilet roll workout. So today I would like you to grab your toilet rolls and we are gonna be busting some moves out with our toilet rolls. So if you've only got one, that's absolutely fine. If you've got two, fantastic, even better. And for the challenge at the very end, if you have got more toilet rolls, even better. So you're gonna stack them all up and I'll be showing you what we're gonna be doing there. This is a 10 minute workout and we're gonna be exercising for 40 seconds with a bit of active recovery for 20 seconds. So same as usual folks, if you get that active recovery in, it's a hill pump or a march or make it into more of a cardio move with a job on the spot. And then if you're ready for more, we've got two minutes at the end for a toilet roll busting challenge today. Work at the right pace for you. You do not need to be keeping up with my pace or if you feel like you can work faster, do that please. Make sure you listen to your own body. Right, let's get this toilet roll workout going. Right, let's start with a little bit of a warm up. So we're just gonna do an easy walk on the spot. As you're walking on the spot, you've got hold of your toilet roll. You're just gonna throw it up and catch. Throw and catch. Throw and catch, good. Loosening up there. That's it, starting to get the cardio working by marching on the spot. This is great for eye-hand coordination. Good, couple more. Last one, and down. Good, now we're gonna go for a lunge back and in. So we're gonna press back and in, alternating press in and back. Let's go for four, three, two, and one, brilliant. So keep those feet moving on the spot. We're gonna pass the toilet roll all the way around the back and to the center. Good, pass it all the way around. Let's keep going. Body up nice and tall, chin up there. Pull your tummy muscles in and up. That's the way, good stuff. Lovely, last one. Let's change it around to the other direction. Good, now really open out through the arms. Let's see if you can stretch your arms out a little bit longer and that's going to help with warming up the shoulders. Super stuff. Good, keep going. One and two. Brilliant. Now we're just going to tap out and in, alternating tap outs and in. Soft knees, you're tapping. Good stuff. I'm going to stretch to the side and in, stretch and in. Good. Stretch, in, stretch and in. Good, two more, one more, and march it on the spot, super. Right, this time I'm gonna reach all the way up to the ceiling and back down. You've got it, so reaching up and in, good. Reach and in, let's stretch out through those arms. Reach and in, good, keep that going. Well done, and breathe there. Here we go, we're gonna pass it over the top and to the side, over the top to the side. If you have any shoulder problems and you can't get your arms overhead, don't worry, just bring it in front of you and to the side, front and side. Now as you're doing this, in fact, let's all go to the front and the side now. We're gonna open out through the shoulders and then stretch the chest. So a lovely dynamic move, stretching out the chest muscles there, good. Brilliant, well done. Now we're gonna take that behind and then bring it forward and then take it behind and roll out through the upper back. Can you see I'm keeping it in one hand and I'm touching it in the hand in front. Good, right, let's start our move workout for today. So we're heading in for a side lunge and we're just gonna hold it here and we're gonna stretch that arm forward. So it's stretching forward, good. So I'm bending over to my right knee, lovely. Weight is pushing back. I'm pushing my bottom right back so the weight's not going over my toes. Now if it's a bit tricky on your knees this one, what I like to do is just keep upright and just stretch forward. You can maybe add in a little bit of a knee bend if you wish, good. So we're coming to the side, stretch and in. You really reach. See if you can lean forward. How far can you lean forward and push your bottom back? Good, okay, active recovery. As you're walking on the spot, you're gonna just let your hands come up and down and catch the toilet roll. So keep going with that. 
Now our next move is a lunge back. So I'm going to give you a preview. It's a tap behind and in. Just tapping with that right leg behind. Okay, so are we ready? Here we go. Tap back and in. Back and in. Lovely. Keep it nice and steady. If you feel wobbly, you might want to hold onto a chair onto the side. Good. Now if you want to bring it up into more of a cardio move, we're going to take the pace up a little bit more. So in and back. That's it. Nice and steady. Reaching back. You've got it. Keep that going. Steady breath. Lovely. 10 seconds. You can do this. I want you to be getting your heart rate up. Let's get that breathing rate up a bit more. Well done. Okay, active recovery. So we're going to go back to our catches. Now keep that going. I'm going to show you a preview of what's coming up next. We're going to go with the left side in for a side lunge. So you're going to take a big stride to the side, bend, stretch the arm forward and in. Now remember if you don't want to do the side lunges, hold it in the centre and just reach forward. Good. Off we go. Now push that bottom back. That's the way. Push it back and then lean forward. How far can you get forward and reach, reach, reach? Doesn't matter how far you're going as long as you're working for you. Stretch out those arms. This is really good for the upper body as well, guys. Good, reach down. That's it, you can do it. Keep stretching. Keep those shoulders low as you return up. Good, pull in that toilet roll towards your tummy. Well done, active recovery. So we're going to lunge it back with your left leg and reaching up just like we did before. Tapping that foot back next to the other one. Lovely. So uh, out and in. Out and in. Now remember you can reach the arm forward if you have any shoulder issues at all. Good. And then you want to increase your pace so you feel like you're starting to work and getting a little bit of a sweat up there. Good. So you might want to pick it up a bit more, a little bit faster, or this could be enough for you. That is absolutely fine. You work at the right level for you guys. Bring. Easy walk and catch. Fantastic. Now the next one coming up is a side twist. So you've got hold of your toilet roll. If you keep going with your active recovery, I'll just show you here. We're going to twist to the side two times and then take it back to the other way. Here we go. Soft knees. Twist and centre. Twist and centre. Other side. Twist, centre, twist, centre. Good. Now this time, see if you can bring your elbows in line with your toilet roll. Good. Then keep your shoulders low. That's it. As you're doing this activity, I'm keeping my feet flat on the floor and I'm wiggling my toes in my shoes just to keep the blood travelling back up to the level of the heart there. Well done. Keep it going, other side. Try and keep your hips facing forward. And into active recovery. Good stuff. Back into our catches. That's the way. Great for coordination here, guys. Get that brain working again. Super. Now we've got an alternating knee raise. So I'm going to show you a quick preview of this. We're just going to lift up the knee and down. As you're lifting and lowering, you're going to transfer your toilet roll underneath your legs. Yes, like that. You've got it. Now if you're struggling with the height, it's too high, you can't get the toilet roll underneath. Don't worry, just go for a touch and a touch. Good. The higher you can get your knee, even better. Come on, let's see if we can really work you. Lift and lift. Can you increase your own personal pace? Woo! Can we get it going? Yes. Point those toes down. That's it. Good, good, good. Lift, lift, lift. And active recovery. Well done. Active recovery. Walk it out or heel pump. And then go in for a catch. Now the next one 
is a squat. So I'm gonna get around two 20 rolls for this. I'm gonna squat it down and place one to the floor, coming back up. Good, here we go. Let's go together and squat and up. Squat and up. Now pick up from the other side and then pick up again. Good, and again, squat and up. What? And up. Now, if this is too tricky for you, a bit too low, don't worry. All I want you to do is just keep holding your toilet rolls and just go in for a nice, easy squat. Pushing your bottom back. Lovely. So, we're going to go squat, up, squat, and up. Good. Really work the bottom and the thighs. Weight traveling onto the back of the heels. Good. Okay. In for active recovery. Woo! Well done. We're going to go for a straight leg raise for this one. So it's a straight leg raise coming up, and all you need to do is push it overhead. So pushing up that tweet roll. If you can't go overhead, go in front. Ready, go. Push, push, and down. Push, and down. Good. Hold the core in. Maybe you might want to work it more over an ab move. Let's crunch and come forward. That's it, crunch and come forward. Otherwise, just keep it up nice and tall. Steady breath. Really stretch that leg out. If you can get your foot even to about an inch off the floor, brilliant. Well done, you guys. You are doing the hard work. You are making a difference to your body because you're out here and you're working. Back in for active recovery, good. And back in for our catches. Super stuff, keep that going. Now next one coming up is a side lunge again. And we're going to do an overhead lift up and press. So keep active recovery going. It looks like this, stepping in and back. Level one, you're gonna stay up nice and tall, so no bending down. Level two, down in for a side squat. Good, level three, you're just gonna increase your pace and power up that little bit more. Weight through the heels. Good. Push your bottom back. That's it. It's all about getting that weight back and down. Good. Reach and in. Reach and in. Nearly there, guys. You can do it. Come on, stick with me. I know you can do this. This is quite tough. If it's going too fast, you slow it down. Okay, here we go. Back in for our lovely catches and active recovery. So, what we've done on one side, gonna do it on the other. Side lunge, quick, quick preview, here we go. Lunge, and in, remember level one, tap, and in, tap, and in. Here we go, side lunge, and in. Push that bottom back, flat back as you're coming forward, yes. As I'm side lunging out, my left toe is out to about 10 o'clock. That's it. Side lunge and in. You're nearly there. End of the 10 minutes coming up. And if you feel like you've got enough energy, you're going to crack out two minutes with me. We've got a super challenge for you today. All about the toilet rolls today. Good. Now I'm going to use four toilet rolls for my challenge today. Okay, so back to active recovery. So I'm gonna stack up my toilet rolls. This is a quick preview, folks. You're gonna pick up one roll. Step, step, down. Step, step, pick up. Step, step, down. Here we go. Step, step, and squat it down. Good, step, step, pick up. Step, step, and turn. Good, now if you feel like you can't get down this low, don't worry. Just reach forward one, and then turn. Like this, good. Otherwise, keep joining me. Duck, step, step, down. Step, step, squat. Step, step, now, okay. Keep that going, otherwise you're gonna make it a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna go for a jump, and down. Jump, pick up, jump, and down. Stick to the right level for you folks. I want you to keep step-stepping 
if this is a bit too challenging for you. For those of you I know who are achieving level three at the moment, have a go at this one. That's it, core in strong. You're doing well. Good. Do one more time. And let's all take it back to step, step. So, step, step, and down. Good. Step, step, kick up. Step, step, and down. Step, step, kick up. Now you might want to go back to your jumps. Do that if you wish. Good. I'm just here sticking to level one for a second. And now I'm going to swap. Jump, down, jump, up, jump, down. Good. Fantastic, Luna. Okay, let's take it back to step, steps. Step, step, and down. Good, not far to go. Come on, guys, stick with me. I know you can do this. The toilet will work out. Yes. Woo! Well done guys! I mean, that toilet roll challenge was actually really quite challenging. So let me know in the comments below how you felt that went for you. I'd love to hear from you guys. Right, keep your feet moving on the spot. Let's cool it down. Woo! Grab your toilet roll. Nice, easy walk out. As we're walking, we're going to walk it around the room and circle that toilet roll around the body. Good, nice easy walk out. Lovely. Let's change direction back around the other way. That's it, looking good guys. Shoulders nice and low and relaxed. Yes, steady breath. Well done. Okay, take it back to the centre. Great, nice wide stance. Bend your right knee. Uh, pointing out to 10 to 2 of your feet and then with your toilet roll you're going to reach up and over and stretch and feel that lovely stretch coming down the side there. Good, now you're going to reach up again and you're going to pass it into that right hand and that right arm is going to swing open and come back so you're stretching out your right pectoral muscle there. Lovely, now bring that hand back into the centre and then bring the feet facing forward. Lovely, now you're gonna stretch and push your bottom back, really push the bottom back there, and reach forward, fantastic. Good, you're stretching out your hamstrings, and then slowly come back up, good stuff. Turn that left toe out, right toe out, back to 10 to two again, and then come over for a lovely bend, so you're stretching out the inner thigh. Reach all the way up, reach, reach, reach. Super, that's it, hold that stretch there. Doing really well, nice stretching out. Fantastic, then reach up. And then you're gonna pass it into your left hand. Fantastic, and you're gonna open up in for a chest stretch through the other side. Really reach back and feel that stretch. Steady breathing. Good, keep that going. Well done, back in. Fantastic, and then reach forward. That's it, pushing that bottom out there. Lovely, and then back in. Slowly work those feet in together. Good, holding onto a wall or onto a chair. What I'd like you to do is just take a big stride back with your right leg and push your back heel onto the floor. Now if you feel okay, and you can just do the standing and you don't have any balance issues, great. And then you're going to reach all the way forward and tuck the head down. Good stuff. Bring that leg in, other leg. Now take both those hands back and hold on to that toilet roll. And see how far you can lift that toilet roll up behind you. Good. Keep the back heel flat into the floor. Great stuff. Good. And again, holding on to the wall. If you can get your leg up behind you, great. Holding onto your trousers or onto the ankle. Otherwise, keep the toe into the floor, lift the heel and just tilt the pelvic forward. So you'll be getting a lovely hip flexor stretch there. I'm gonna go in for a quadriceps stretch and I'm gonna reach my arm forward or out to the side.
for a bit of balance there, stretching the front of the thigh. Good, onto the other side. Reach up and down. Good, remember to place that left toe in the floor, tilt the pelvis forward if you just want to keep it in for a hip flex and stretch. Good, steady breathing. And then back in, great. Let's do three catches, one, two, three. Now, um, a finale one now, guys. How high can you throw your toilet roll? Ready, steady, three, two, one, go. Woo! Yes, we did it. The toilet roll epic workout is finished for today. So, well done, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Bit of loony tunes for today. So if you did, do hit that like button along with the subscribe and I shall see you for our uh, last on it workout tomorrow. So have a fantastic day today. Keep safe, keep well. Much love as always. See you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.